Hey guys! This week we're going to go back to working on my engine. This is just a taking inventory episode of what I need to do and what materials I need to get. And uh, we're going to focus on the exhaust riser, the air intake manifold, and the fuel injectors. It's been a while since I was putting together the engine. I stopped and switched gears to work on the water lock muffler and the fuel tank and the fuel hoses, but now I'm back to finishing putting on the engine accessories, the uh, exhaust riser, the air intake manifold, and uh, finishing the fuel injectors. Uh, and t tonight is just an inventory episode. I just want to get it straight what parts I need, what gaskets I need, whether I ha have all of the bolts. Um, and um, just get a little bit more organized in terms of what I need to do to finish this project. So the problem that I'm dealing with is that I ordered a complete set of Kubota gaskets for this engine because it's the same engine that is used in tractors. And the gasket for the air intake manifold is, it fits it, but it's a totally different type of gasket. This gasket goes into a thin groove that goes all around the manifold. It's like a rubber gasket. Um, the one that came with it is the paper gasket that clearly fits. It's clearly made for the air intake manifold, um, but it's a totally different style. And I think that's probably okay. Everything lines up perfectly. Um, but uh, I don't know. It's too late to call Meredith. That would be rude. It's like almost midnight, so guess I'll just go for it. And also, like, why do you even need a gasket on an air intake manifold? It's just air. Like, why do you need that? There, we got it. Got it started. That one's too long. See, it's longer than all the others, so it must be in the wrong, there, there must be something wrong here. I'm um, scraping in preparation to put on a gasket on the exhaust riser. Hopefully I can find the gasket. I thought I had it once. It was somewhere. Making sure it's flat. Are you Nancy? What did you say the other earlier? Empathetic. Do I need a gasket on this? I can't remember. I think it might be too cool for a gasket with this. Maybe because this thing has a like a pressing thing that presses it so tight. Uh, no, I think it has a gasket. I think it needs a gasket. I'll look at the parts diagram. Let's see. I don't remember there being a gasket when I took that off, but I might just not remember. Uh, exhaust riser. Oh, yeah, 
that's a gasket all right number 32 this is the exhaust manifold heat exchanger and exhaust riser zoom in on 32 there's definitely a gasket that's supposed to go in there that I don't have right now Okay, now I'm putting the air intake manifold on. You see all these little washers here are right underneath this thing here? These little washers, you see? You see? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like in this diagram, okay, this here, oh, stop. This here is that thing, right? You see? The three little things connected together? Yeah. Underneath there? The next thing down is not those washers. The next thing down is some sort of nut. Mm -hmm. I see washers down here, down which is like down under here. But I don't see any washers right under here. So I'm like, but Meredith put them there and she, so she must have some reason for having put them there. And they look like they are supposed to go there. They look like they fit there. You should at least consult. They're just not in this diagram. So I don't want to tighten that down until I talk to her because I don't want to, like, once you crush a crush washer, um, you can't reuse it. So for now, I'm just going to kind of, like, sit this on here and maybe put some, like, put the foil back on. And then I'll just tighten down some of the other stuff. This is going to be another episode where we didn't get everything done what we wanted to do, but we learned a lot in the process about what needs to happen. So we can't put the hard fuel hoses on tonight because of that, because I need to consult with Meredith about that. Um, parts diagram. Okay, but we can potentially put on the, um, we can put on the exhaust riser and we might even be able to torque some of those, um, some bolts. 
This week's video may look a little bit different. Erin um, did film it, but she was moving last week. She had to move everything from her apartment to the apartment next to hers. So uh, she asked me to use her free pass and edit this video myself. So um, that is why uh, and yeah. So now I know that I need a gasket for the exhaust riser. I thought it was in my kit, but it looks like it's not. I need to contact Meredith about the placement of the crush washers um, and why she put them as she did instead of what looks to be like the diagram. I'm not sure um, if I'm understanding the diagram right. But, and also I need to get one of the bolts for the uh, air intake manifold to be a quarter inch shorter. I don't know why it is what it is. It must have gotten mixed up with a bolt from somewhere else. Um, so that's what I need to do. So consider next week part two or maybe part 16 of this whole like engine rebuild series. And I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.